Hi, my name is Kyle Ewing. I recently moved back to the Why Not area, so I'm within the parish boundaries, and uh, I'm kind of a, in a unique situation. I'm currently in formation uh, to be a deacon. I've got another year and a half, and um, it's, uh, it's a unique uh, spiritual journey that I'm on, and uh, maybe I'd like to come back to that, but uh, I just recently moved back to Why Not from Omaha, and uh, it's, it's been a blessing to be up in Cedar County again. Um, me and my wife and our four children, my wife Michaela, she and I uh, celebrated our eighth anniversary this year on August 8th, so 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, it was uh, our golden anniversary and we decided to move up to Cedar County at that point. And uh, moving into Why Not, we're just a, a block away from the Sacred Heart Parish there, so I've been able to um, go, go visit Jesus every day. I, I go there every night at least uh, for evening prayer. Um, and uh, just trying to grow closer to Jesus on this journey into the diaconate um, through prayer, through visiting him, uh, increasing my trust in him, because with all these different ministries that I'm involved in, um, it takes a lot of trust, walking with the Lord and uh, you know, praying with his word. I, it's so much more powerful for me when I'm in, his, in, in a, his physical building, in his church. Um, but uh, yeah, my wife Michaela and I moved up here. We got four beautiful children, two girls, two boys, Lily, Emily, James, and John. And um, couldn't be happier, I guess. We're uh, sending our kids to Holy Trinity in Hardington. And uh, it's been a, a blessed time of this year with Christmas uh, upon us. Um, in the posture of formation, I've really been diving deeper into the Word, uh, reading Scripture more, um, diving into Isaiah, his prophecies about the Virgin uh, giving birth to a child. And uh, it's been a really wonderful experience this year where, um, you know, it took me into several different meditations where I'd never been before. I, uh, this Christmas, I, I approached Mary at the manger. She was holding the baby Jesus. And I approached Mary, I said, Mary, please help me to have Jesus born into my heart this Christmas. And what she did next, I was not expecting. She handed me the baby Jesus into my arms and I was holding this precious baby. And I wondered, why am I holding the baby Jesus? I am not worthy, completely unworthy. And I heard the answer that Jesus came for me and he came for you, he came for all of us. Uh, there was no other reason why he came to be a human. It was, it was for our salvation. And <clears throat> reflecting on it even further, it's, it's so wonderful. Jesus became a baby boy for us. He, the infinite became finite so that he could redeem our broken humanity, restore everything in himself, and then, so the beginning of his, his earthly life was Christmas Day, but the end was the ascension, where he goes up into heaven and go, joins our humanity with the Father so that he can divinize humanity and then send the Holy Spirit from on high to dwell within us and make us holy. Um, and so, reflecting on that, uh, just uh, my prayer for everybody in our parish family, within our diocese, is that we can grow closer to the Lord, have Him dwell deeper within our hearts, and that we can experience that joy and peace that only He can give and He wants to give us. And so, um, just uh, you know, walk with the Lord, trust in Him, and uh, with that I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.